and welcome to project 54 of this course so in this video we are going to be creating this custom calendar by just using html css and javascript so this is what we are going to be building so first of all we will have our current month or current day or current date and it will also show us our current year okay so this is what we are going to be building by just using html css and javascript so without wasting any further time now let's jump right into our code editor and write our code hi guys so welcome to the project 54 in this video we are going to be creating a calendar by just using html css CSS and JavaScript. So to do that, first of all, we have to create a folder, and now we have to give some sort of name like uh, O54, uh, 54, and now let's just give a name of like mini calendar. Okay, so inside this calendar, we are going to be creating three files. The first one will be index.html, the second one will be style.css, and the third one will be just app.js for JavaScript. Now let me just make it a bit bigger so that we can see everything a bit better. So now here, let me just write my doc type HTML. Let's link it with our JavaScript file and also with our CSS file. And now let's just change the title to like mini calendar. Okay, so that's then. That. Now let me just collapse my meta from there. Save it, right click on it and open with a live server. So for HTML, we're not going to be writing a lot of HTML, but you're going to be just writing like four or five line. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just create a div with the class of calendar and inside this calendar we are going to have a paragraph so I'm going to just write p and give a name of like month okay and also the id will be also month and now let me just write like april so now let me just duplicate a few times because we want to change these days and now let's just check like uh, I don't know sunday would be fine and change the date to like uh, I don't know 12 and also change this one to like 20 uh 20, 21 instead instead of 22 you know what? i'm yeah I, i'll just go with the who cares now let's just change this one from a uh, month to day and also this one to day and now let's just change this one to day number and also this one to day and number okay and now let's just change this one to year and this one to also a year save it and this is how it looks like right now so now let's just jump right into a css and now let's just format that a bit so the first thing i would do is i'll select everything and provide a margin and padding of zero and box sizing will be border box and then we have a font family of sans serif come on sans serif and that's there the next thing I'm going to do is I'll just select my body and I'm going to provide a height of 100 VH. Display will be totally flex because we want everything to be center. So that's why we are using their flex box. So the background color will be just set to like cyan would be fine, save it. And this is how it looks like right now. Okay. So now the next thing which you have to do is to just uh, grab this calendar and now let's just style it a bit. So I'll just write a background color of totally white. And then I will just write a width of 40% and also text align will be center. And now let me just write a border radius of 10 pixel box shadow. Shadow will be just equal to 0, 4 pixel and then add pixel RGBA of 0, 0, 0 and 0 0.3 alpha transparency. Okay, and overflow will be totally hidden. Save our file and this is how it looks like right here. Okay, so that's that. Now the next thing which you have to do is to select all month right here. So now let me just get my month and now let's just put a little bit of styling to it. So I'm going to just write like margin zero, background, color will be totally blue and the color like just a text color will be totally white and font width will be bold. And now let's just add a little bit of padding of 10 pixel all around and margin bottom will be just 10 pixels save it and this is how it looks like right here okay. So that's that. Now the next thing which we have to do is to get our day. So which will be this day right here. Let me just paste the name of it. And now here we have to just change the font size of it to like 20 pixel. And also the color to be like, um, let me just change the color to like dark blue would be fine. Uh, or you know what, dark um, gray would be fine. Save so file and this is how it looks like. Alright, so now the next thing which I'm going to do is select our day number, which is this day number right here let me just copy the name of it and now let me paste it change the font size to like 80 pixel and also the margin let me just change the margin to zero font weight will be totally bold save it and this is how it looks like right here because this will be like the man 
um, day number so that's why we are just making it a bit bigger all right so now the final thing which you have to select is just this year now let me just get this year right here and now let's just put a margin of 20 pixel from top and bottom left and right will have zero pixel change the font size of it to like 20 pixel okay and then color will be dark gray and also the font weight will be just like 500 would be fine seven and this is how it looks like right now okay so we are totally done with the ui so we are done with the html and also the css so now let's jump right into a javascript and provide our interactivity so for javascript we would need a few things the first one will be a month and the second one will be a day and the third one will be a day number and then we would need our year okay so now to get there first of all we have to select our month let me just write a month and it will be like element okay or you know what i'm gonna just go with l and now let's just get there like by get element by id of month okay so that's that the next thing that you have to do is to just get our day name okay so it will be now equals to uh yeah i'm gonna also add this l for element so i'm gonna just write document that get element by id of day and also let me just get my day num element as well so now let me just get like get element by id of day dash number okay and now the final thing which we have to do is to just get our year element everyone equals to document that get element by id of year okay so now let me just log everything to the console so let me just write like console.log of month um element duplicate a few times and then we have a day name element and also we have a day um yeah day name and then num element and finally we have is a year element so once we save it and now let's just open our console so that we can make sure that we select everything so we have this uh, month we have day day number and year so we are good to go so now let me just remove these console logs from there and also these comments as well so now we are good to go and the first thing i would do is i'll just get my date first of all so now let me just get my date so i'll just write like new and date okay so inside this new date we are going to be writing like month first of all we are going to be getting a month from that date so we are going to be just using like get month uh not millisecond but get month and now let's just get our month and now let's just write like month element dot inner html will be now equals to date dot to local that string and it will be now equals to en for the first parameter and now let's just pass our month and it will be set to long okay and now let's just add or comma right there as well so once we save it so it will now give us the perfect month right here which is like may i'm recording this video in a may so if you check so here we provide april so here you can see we now change this one to may right here okay so this was the first one so now let's just get our next one so which will be like the day name right like day num dot inner html and it will be now equals to day dot get date okay so now let's just call that and now if we just save our file so here you can see it will now give us this uh date of like 27 right here because it is 27 dead. let me just check it all right so here you can see we have um may 27 2022 so here you can see it will now change it to 27 depending on the computer time we just set it okay so that's that now the next thing which you have to do is that we also have to get our ear element and now let's just change the inner text of it i mean like the inner html of it to like just dead dot get full year and now let's just call this method and once we save it and now here you can see instead of 2000 and 21 now we are getting like, like 2022 right here okay so let me just make sure that we don't miss something oh we also missed this sunday and it's not sunday today it's friday so now let me just get there okay so here i'm gonna just write like day name and element it's inner html will be now equals to this date dot to local dead string okay and here we're going to be just passing like a en for english and then here we are going to be passing our curly braces and weekday so v day and it will be now set to long and now let's just provide our comma there so it's now giving us a time and we don't want that we want okay so it is <laughs> to local time string instead of that we are going to be just writing like two local 
um dead string okay so if you want that so now let's just save it and now here you can see it will now give us party right here okay and this is the perfect day which is today okay so now let me just grab like it's may right here and it's also 2022 and here you can see that and it's also uh friday and 27 so everything is working the way we expect him to work and if you open this project in your own machine and your own day like the next day or maybe in future so it will show you the exact same time okay so now we are good to go i guess we are just done with our project so now the next thing i want to talk to you about is like if you guys don't know about git and github so feel free to skip this video and jump right into the next one and now if you do know about git and github and want to push your code into your github repository so this is what i'm going to do right now so let me just write like git uh, status one more time and now let's just write like git add everything and now here git commit dash m and now let me just write like mini calendar and now let's just push that to our github repository all right so missed it get push and origin main hit enter and now it will just push our code into our github repository now let me just refresh that and now we would get our 0450 054 and we have this mini calendar right here and now here you can see we have this html code then we have a app.javascript javascript or js code right here and we also have this standard css code right here all right so i guess that was it about today's video and i'll see you in the next video bye bye